Hello everyone, this is Simple Cody, and in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to create your own repository for Cody. Now I know I already made a video about this, but uh, I decided to make another one, because I find this one easier and there's less steps to follow. So let's begin. First of all, a repository for Cody is basically a package that uh, includes a lot of add-ons in it. Let me show you the main one that comes with Cody when you download it. As you can see, it has a lot of stuff, skins, video add-ons, programs, pictures, music. Us, for this, in this video, we're going to work with video add-ons and music add-ons to include in our repository. So let's begin. Let me exit Cody. Okay, everything in the script uh, we're going to talk about will be in the description below. Now, the first thing you need is uh, a program that I created. It will be... Uh, easier to follow with that program because uh, it will let you download all the files we, we want and all the programs so to get it I'll include a link in the description and you need a decryp decryption key now that decryption key you'll get it again from a link in the description and it will get you over here now there won't be any surveys the only thing you need to do is just verify that basically you're a human clicked a newborn baby Click the basketball and the train. As you can see, there's no uh, incorrect. Must have clicked something wrong. And train. As you can see, there's no service at all. Just copy the link and paste it right there. Download through your browser and let it install. Shouldn't take uh, very long. Now drag and drop it to your desktop right here. Now when we open this, it's going to tell you that uh, it's not safe for your computer. It says that because it says it's from an unknown publisher because I made it. And uh, I didn't get the certificate to be a publisher. I just made this real quick. So there's nothing bad about it. Just click on run anyways. And it's going to tell you if you could allow it to run as ad administrator. Just hit yes. Just uh, click next. And uh, over here is the files that we need. Just click anywhere on this icon. Give it some time. And there's a file that has been created up there. We'll get that into into that later a bit. Well, let's actually go in it, into it right now. As you can see, there's three things in it. Plugins. That's the plugins that we have. You, now, you could download plugins online and put them in here. Or you could create your own. Or if you want, you could edit the ones I created right here. Those are really simple ones. As you can see, they're like 14 lines of code. So it's your choice. Uh, right here we have the audio add-on and the video add-on. Over here, it's the programs. It's empty. I'll explain in a bit. And here is the repository. That's the main, that's the main thing. Uh, that's the repository. Well, it contains all the add-ons. So for the repository, you need an add-on.xml right here. You could take this in and edit it. We're going to insert three links right here in a bit. You need a changelog.txt. And you need an icon, which is uh, has to be a size of 256 times 256, 256 times 256. Now, programs empty cause, because, let me sh show you. Can I move it? OK. Let's go, let's go here click next and here are the programs that we need so let's say you want uh, WinRAR you just click on the icon and it will download it right here as you can there's two of them because one is for 64 and was one is for 32 bit to know what operating system you have just right click on the start bar click on system and I have 64 now if you don't have Windows 10 search for control panel system and security system and it says it right there I have 64 so I'll download the 64 bit but I already have it so uh, for the others it's uh, one file for both so notepad plus plus you click on it give it some time and it downloads in the program file right there I already have them all so I won't need them hit finish just I'll open up my YouTube channel and do you want to exit hit yes Okay, so let's work with the plugins folder. Now, in here, there's uh, these two uh, XML files. 
the addons.xml open that it should be empty there should be like two lines of code in it now this one it contains it tells the repository what's how many add-ons is there and what are the add-ons so we have two add-ons right here so we need to uh, paste in the add-on the plugins add-on.xml everything in it except the first line so from you need uh, I don't know what's this called so from add-on to slash add-on you need to copy all that and paste it into add-ons.xml the one with the S as shown and just hit enter twice just leave uh, one space in here and we need to do the same thing for the video add-on add-ons xml copy everything that's from add-on to slash add-on and paste it right here so let me make sure that's the audio okay like that so save it and exit now for the uh, add-ons.xml.md5 it's basically a hash uh, it's a hash a hash is uh, contained of uh, letters and numbers to get a hash or to create a hash just copy everything in let me close that everything in your add-ons.xml the one with the s control a control c or right click select all and copy in the description below you're going to you're going to find the uh, okay no that's not good okay you're going to find the uh, the link to this md5 generator just paste the code right here and click md5 it's, it should give you a code and paste it paste it into the .md5 and save that okay now over here let's just work on it uh, rename well no first of all right click the plugins you have and put them in a zip file now again if you don't have uh, WinRAR download it from the programmer here as you can see it made this zip file just put it in its folder do the same thing for the other one zip file and put it in there now we're gonna after putting it in its folder rename the folder just remove the uh, the version number that's it remove those and like that and it should be good now we don't need the uh, yeah we can we can actually delete them okay now uh, go to plugin and in your plugin one of your plugins or both of all your plugins basically you're gonna have to delete the add-on.py and, and the license so you're gonna have five things now the plugins the zip file is acting like a backup if you have if you lose anything just right click on it and extract here and you will get everything back so one two three four five do the same thing for the video add-on delete the py and the license as shown now we're done with the plugins file now for the repository we're gonna get that we're gonna get to that later okay now in the description you're gonna find a link to a zero zero web host zero zero web host is a is, is a place where you could host your uh, website so click on sign up right here you could create uh, well you can make a dot com domain but to that you have to pay so we're just gonna go with the subdomain name so let's call it uh, my repo test put your name and your email that I just created for this video let me copy from there put a pass uh, put a password I agree I'm not a robot Taxis, taxi, taxi, verify, create my account. And it says waiting for email verification. Go to your email. And for Gmail, it should be in your inbox. For a Hotmail, it's in your junk mail. So yeah, click on it. We don't need this. And it says building. Give it some time or you can just click refresh status. 
Mm, come on. And it says active. Go to cPanel. Account details. And we need the information right here. So now open FileZilla. If you don't have it, it's in uh, the program I created. Okay, so right here, host. Copy the host right here. Username. And the password, put in the password you made. And the port is 21. Quick connect. Now, I don't think it's going to work from the first time because we just created the website. Yeah, you see, it cannot connect the server because we just created it. So give it some time, about five minutes. Or you could change the password. I found that that works. It kind of refreshes the server. So let's just change. Port is 21. Quick connect. Uh, it's not working. So yeah, just give it some time. One, two, four. 21 okay there we go uh, here we're gonna find three things uh, two uh, I don't know files don't touch them just go to public underscore HTML folder delete the things in it and it should be empty now no no, no. okay I wanted to do that oh my god sorry about that okay right here uh, so in here the empty uh, public underscore HTML file you're gonna drag and drop the, uh, yeah you're gonna drag and drop the plugins file give it some time let it upload and wait until it says successful uh, you need uh, we could actually work with that okay so after you upload that go to uh, zero zero web host click on right here my domain or right there and it should be like that now it's basically a website without a theme you don't need a theme you don't yeah you don't need a theme so click on plugins add-ons.xml we need to copy the uh, address bar the address of it go to uh, repository add-ons and paste it right here in its place as you can see I left to add-ons.xml so you guys know where to paste it in now we need the MD5 link. So close this MD5. It shows you it's an error. That's totally fine. Paste it right there. And in between right there, we need the uh, just click on plugins and copy the link. It's basically the place where uh, the plugins are in which folder and hit save. After that, we're going to create uh, a zip file of our repository. So go to repository, right click on it, add torches, zip, and OK, and drag and drop it inside. Like, yeah. OK, so upload the repo. Quick connect, quick connect, successful. Go back, upload the repository, just drag and drop successful okay now we'll go back to if you go back to your site it shows that repository and plugin so click on repository and copy the link right here copy it control C open up Kodi go to system file manager add source double click it control V to paste now here over here you could add any name you want so just call it simple Kodi okay okay go back system settings add-ons install from zip files from zip file simple Kodi and click the zip now it's gonna install if you have a lot of add-ons it's gonna take some time but I had two so it didn't take any time install from repository simple Kodi now as you can see there's the music add-on and the video add-on now you could have a lot diff you could have different sorts of add-ons but uh, us we worked with video and music so let's download the music add-on hit it 
and install add-on enabled and let's go see it music music add-on and right here it's a small uh, music add-on created for vivo tv as you can see right there now for the video add-on there's nothing so uh, we could get more uh, no you could just go back uh, systems settings add-ons install from repository simple code video add-on it's basically the same but uh, the same uh, add-on but I changed it to a video so video add-ons and it works so yeah that's pretty much it uh, if you want to know how you could update uh, your repository let's say you change something in the plugins uh, let's say you add more pl you want to add more plugins or uh, you uh, change something the name or, or remove one uh, I made a video about that so uh, I'll put an annotation on the screen and a link in the description below just uh, go see it and uh, yeah if you have any trouble following this tutorial just go and see the old one maybe it could help you uh, let me just say something real quick go to system settings add-ons and if you wanted to update every time if you want to change something if you update your add-on uh, your repository sorry and you wanted to update every time you open Kodi just make sure your auto update is on I like them like that so yeah thank you very much for watching hope this uh, tutorial uh, helped you and yeah please subscribe and uh, peace out